a norovirus outbreak is impacting communities nationwide now, including here in the Northeast. The highly contagious bug spreading steadily, and the CDC says it is crucial that everyone takes precautions and stay healthy and safe. So we brought in NBC News medical contributor Dr. Tara Narula with everything we need to know. So, Dr. Narula, it feels like we do talk about norovirus every year, every other year or so. Remind us again, what is it and who's most at risk for catching? Well, this is the dreaded virus that leaves us in the bathroom for about a day or two. We've all been there. This is one of the leading causes of acute gastroenteritis. It's very contagious, as you mentioned, and really can affect anyone, any age. Um, it's responsible for about 2,000 outbreaks a year, 19 million illnesses a year and almost 100,000 hospitalizations. So very common. We do see this kind of seasonal pattern where it kind of begins to peak up in November. It lasts till about April. It's spread by really person-to-person -person contact or even food or touching contaminated surfaces. Um, and really, you just need a small exposure to a small number of viral particles to get infected. Um, and it's very hard to disinfect and clean it. It's very resistant to a lot of standard cleaners and even heat or cold. So we see it a lot on cruise ships and schools. It yeah. just can get rampant. Yeah, one of my daughters, I think, had it. She had it for a day. And I actually asked the doctor, like, is this norovirus? And they said, well, we could test for it, but you kind of treat it the way you Correct. treat a lot of these uh, kind of issues. So how do you treat it if your kid has it? Exactly. So a lot of it is about hydration, hydration. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard with little kids to keep up. But really, mm -hmm. oral hydration, rehydration therapies like Pedialyte, Gatorade, or sports drinks, and really staying on top of it. Sometimes we'll give antiemetics or medicines that prevent the vomit. Mm -hmm. um, you also want to clean your surfaces, as I mentioned, uh, with a standard bleach and water solution because mm -hmm. it's not uh, treated by many uh, standard cleansers. Mm -hmm. uh, you also want to use water and soap to wash your hands because sanitizer, alcohol-based treatments like that don't really work oh, either. Wash mm. your foods, uh, vegetables and fruits, cook shellfish, uh, and stay home if you're sick. Don't prepare food for your kids if you have it for while you're right. sick and even the two days after. Mm. Um, but nausea, vomiting, abdominal mm -hmm. pain, diarrhea, fever, muscle aches, mm -hmm. headache. These are some of the standard symptoms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good reminder. About, I, everyone thinks hand sanitizer right. will kill everything, not yeah. this. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Wash you, those Dr. hands. 20 yeah. seconds. Yes. <laughs> Sing happy birthday happy twice. 20 seconds. Exactly. Yeah, okay. We got you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.